let me explain how narcolepsy works. Imagine being a cell phone, a really old cell phone, a cell phone that has enough power to last maybe half the day. And when you charge it, it says it won't even go to 100%. It'll go to like 90%, right? So imagine having a battery like that. And when you go charge yourself, you feel like, okay, I'm going to last for the rest of the day. No, I have to recharge myself multiple times. And doing tasks takes up a lot of my energy reserves. So if I decide I'm going to clean my room, I better much, I better know that I'm not doing anything for the rest of the day because I will fall asleep. Also, when you get cataplexy, cataplexy is like when you see in the movies when they kind of just fall over and go to sleep. It's a little different. I have a very mild cataplexy, but it still sucks. It feels like gravity is forcing you down, it's pulling you down. Like if you're a wet painting and someone, that's how it feels. It feels exactly like something is pulling you down. Like you're shutting off, like you're, you're dim. And I, and I get, I become confused. Um, I become, my words don't make any sense. Um, I might like, I'll repeat myself a lot. Uh, I'll just keep like having a foggy look and I can't explain how embarrassing it is when it happens and I'm either talking to someone or I'm in a meeting. It is embarrassing and my medicine works but it doesn't guarantee that it's working all the time. It's like someone with epilepsy, they take their epileptic medication, right? But it doesn't guarantee that they're gonna be 100% fixed. Same with me. Imagine being 100% tired all the time, more tired than what you currently think you are, right? And taking a medication that forces you to have the energy that you don't have so hard. I've gained like 45 pounds, if you haven't noticed. Right? I gain a lot of weight. Fuck, I'm oily right now. Anyways, I gain a lot of weight. Think about it. If you do not sleep, that it that affects your eating habits. That affects your mobility. That affects your cognitive abilities. It affects your physiology. Sleep is everything. And my body does not produce the chemicals that is needed to have a regular sleep and wake cycle. My circadian rhythm is like a newborn child. I can sleep forever, be up for two hours, and then go back to sleep forever. There's something wrong there. So, you know, like, I'm over it. <laughs> and that rant was not for anybody. It was not an invitation or an open door for anybody to be like, well, you can still lose weight. There's this Olympian that has no legs and he won a gold medal. Good for him. I got a doctorate degree and you probably did it. I'm not sitting there saying that you should get one too. I'm saying that it's fucking hard to have a disability. I hate it. It's stupid. It's an invisible disability too. A lot of people don't think I have it. They just think, girl, she just loves her zebra cakes. I love zebra cakes, but they weren't loving on me like this before. <laughs>